Dude, the views. The views. So this is... Uh, oh, let's go climb those. This is Bella Vista. Why are we... Why is it cloudy, hazy? That's uh, not just, That's not a forest fire. No. It's, I don't know. No. Yeah, that's just... Probably just like hazy. They could be burning fields. Although they don't do it much like yeah. this. See, okay. Okay. I got a question. Hills to train, man. Hills to train. No, those are mountains, my friend. No, these hills. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Agreed. That, but that in front of us is a mountain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A big mountain. That's like a really big mountain. That's like three, 4,000 feet yeah. of gain in front of us. Right. Which you know I'm all in on, right? Right. I'm all in on it. I might yeah. be breathing hard and still shooting a video, but I'm all in. Okay, favorite thing about the U. What's your favorite thing about the University of Minnesota? What is your favorite thing about Drew's choice? You being able to go there. What's your favorite thing about it? We've got to thank Cody again. Right? Cody's the guy who... Oh, Cody. Yeah. Cody Arnold. Yes, Cody Arnold. Cody Arnold. Okay. But what's your favorite thing about Drew's Choice? I just asked you all these other questions. We got into a bunch of other stuff. But what's your favorite thing about about the University of Minnesota? Oh. Coach Coach uh, Agam and Becker and Branvold and all those guys over there. You know, I think for me it's just people. You know, I mean, you could go on about, oh, it's a great facility. It's great. You know, I mean, the people. Um, I've seen a lot of tough guys come from very mediocre facilities. I've seen, I mean, which they're all tremendous. They're all tremendous. But for me, it's just the people, you know, the coaches, um, you know, the philosophy on on training and, and, and being good at something. And, you know, it's probably very similar. I think it's probably very similar to mine. Um, and you got to work at things. Um, you know, I definitely like, I mean, do I just get one thing? I mean, like, oh, there's no, like, no. I like, you know, being in an atmosphere where you have people in the stands and fans and there's like, really educated fans that are into it and wrestling in front of a crowd like that and passionate people. I'm big on passion. Okay. And so you have passionate fans, supporters, you've got butts in the seats, you've got big time competition that, Hey, we all want our kids to win, right? Like, or do whatever they do. We want them to excel. And, and but, hey, man, as a fan, as a guy that's been a long time in wrestling, I want to go watch Minnesota versus Michigan. I want to go watch them wrestle Ohio State. I want to go and watch a dual meet in Carver Hawkeye, you know, which I've never uh, been to a dual meet there, you know, especially one like a rivalry meet like there, you know, Oklahoma State every year, sometimes in Stillwater, sometimes in Minneapolis, you know, we used to duel them the first match of the year, um, you know, non-conference match, but a big match, and, you know, wrestling, Wisconsin, and Rutgers, and Iowa State, and, you know, um, you and I, and just, really good wrestling in front of um, you know people that are excited about wrestling and just electric atmosphere and stuff I'm really excited for that but as far as him picking the Minnesota Gophers and stuff like that you know it's people I mean it's people it's 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 Brandon Agam it's Luke Becker it's Branfold it's Dustin Schlater um, it's you know guys like Jason Ness still being around that I coached and you know like those guys quality people uh committed people and um and then the weather I'm big on the weather <laughs> that's not true it makes it tougher I'll, I'll go with that but it's out of tough, the it's, man it's, it's tough not the, it's not the rain like oh. Oregon I'm gonna say that it's not the rain it might be zero, but the sun might be out. It's nice to get out of the rain for a little bit. Like, so, I, like I was in for 11 years. So you're super excited about him going there. Um, you're, you love the people he's surrounded with. The facilities, obviously, <laughs> they got the best wrestling room, right? Like, it's four full, man. I mean, it's massive. It's like Ohio State. It's like Michigan. Yeah. It's like Rutgers. It's like, the, right? It's like, it's like Penn State. It's like those facilities, right? I mean, it's comparable. Am I wrong? 
Oh, I, it's no. pretty nice. I mean, I haven't been in all of those since, but no, it's uh, four full mats and a couple other smaller ones. So it's it's probably close to five mats. And the really. lounge is up top, and the locker rooms right there. And yeah, it's offices. It's yeah, it's right there, man. It's, it's got it's got every it's got everything you need. As far as um, giving him advice. Now, I asked you this question earlier, but you said you were about a six or seven on a 10 scale as being an advisor, sounding board, influence of your son. Do you feel like you stayed back enough? Do you feel like you let him make his choice? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, for sure. No, I think there were times when he wanted me to give him probably more, you know, probably more, like probably more of an opinion. And, and you know, I... I I try to, you know, straddle that with not being um, too over involved with like, hey, listen, if you want to ask me any questions or what, you know, but as far as gut feeling and stuff, I, I don't, I can't make that. I don't, I don't make that. I'm not influencing your decision because when you make your decision, it's your decision and you know, that's got to be your gut. That doesn't have to be mom or dad's gut or somebody convincing you and, and, and you go for it. Because, you know, I mean, you have to decide. You know, you can ask me about my experience or what I think about something. But ultimately, I'm not going to pick, you know. Just like I didn't pick, like my kid, hey, you're going to wrestle and you're going to practice X amount of days a week and you're going to get up in the morning and lift weights and you're going to... I did that. That I did that when that was me. Like, that's not my decision for a kid or, you know, you got to pick where they want to go to school and you just support them. How far are we from coffee? A uh, quarter mile. Okay. Because I got some really good questions, but I'm going to hold off after coffee. And there are, uh, I'll, and I'll let you think about them, all right? Hey, yeah. do, you, do you make the, all this stuff up before, or I get the feeling you're just going off the top of your head. That's exactly what I did. Oh, I love it. Got are you it. joking? No. I, I, mean, think I thought that was like known. I thought that was a known thing about well, me. What do we got going here? What are, I don't know. These guys are, who's got a knife screaming at each other? What, that was weird. What's going on? What did, I, I'm... What did you think was going? I'm confused. No, you just you're 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 really good at it, and I don't see any notes or anything. I didn't even know we were doing this. You just get in the car and you're like, hey, well, I'm no, the ask guy you some just questions. sent me the thing. I read the message to you from okay, Cody. Okay, yeah. Well, I, I we were I took my daughter to do gymnastics, yeah. and then it's like, hey, we're. I know. I got to listen therapy. to your skull session with your daughter. <laughs> Gotta get tough. <laughs> The skull session was great. Well, and well, by the time she got out of here, she was excited to go into the building and, and win. That's it. She had a great attitude going in, man. She did. I'm not joking. She was excited about being a gymnast. I coached her Dude, up. Dude, you did. You skull sessioned your daughter. You skull sessioned your 11 year old daughter. <laughs> you did. She was like, the emotion, the roller coaster of emotions was. Dude, did you see the roller coaster of emotion? She was yeah, staring right. out the window at one point, like, like 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 pondering, and then another time. And when she got out, she had a she had a pop in her step. She, she gave ready. me a fist bump. She was ready to go in and conquer. She was ready. The impossible, like your barbarian. Uh, do you have it on, Ron? Let me oh. see. Let me see. Turn. You do. <laughs> the skull hey. session was great, though. You were working on her mental. Let me let me let me try to get this. Dude. All right, let's go. How many? Roberts's does it take? That looks good on you, dude. Ooh, look yeah, at that logo. Damn. We're gonna have to get some uh, Roberts wrestling ones. You need a hat too. Is there one right here? Yeah, grab that Under Armour hat. There you go. I'll be back. Look, and you're ready to like rob the store. Your ears would give you away pretty bad though. There we go. I'm going in like this. Is it Starbucks? Yeah, it's yeah. I go here uh, every day, sometimes twice. Do they know you yet? Oh yeah. They have a, They're not going to now because you're all like faced up and conquering the impossible with Barbarian. All right, let's go get it.